I have decided to try these big new lights that Lacha told me to try and I just blinded myself by looking at them. Um, I hope I don't look too washed out. Um, if I do, then we're going to try to find a happy medium between the lighting I had yesterday and the lighting I have today. Um, so today I have finished everything that I'm going to do with my preparations apart from my mascara because I've got a new mascara and I thought I'd tr um, try it for the first time with you guys. So um, again, the Makeup Forever foundation and the liquid blue eyeliner with um, Makeup Forever and um, I don't have any lip gloss on yet. I feel kind of naked without it, so if you don't mind, um, I am going to stick some on because I feel like it's like foundation lips city. If I don't put some on, so I'm gonna do that. And then um, I was in the grocery store yesterday and I always go by the makeup section because it's always fun. And um, I saw this new range, I don't know how new it is, but it's a new range that Alme is doing. It's called um, eye, Intense Eye Color, but with eye like an apple, <laughs> iPod, <laughs> eye color sort of thing. Um, and basically it's a line of products for your eyes that is supposed to um, uh, match your eye color, well, work well with your eye color. Um, and um, I thought I'd give the mascara a try. Um, I probably should do the whole line, but I mean, how much money are you supposed to spend on <laughs> makeup in one week? I don't know. So this is the Alme Intense Eye Color um, Volumizing Mascara, and I have it, it's for blue eyes, um, and I have it in brown topaz. They also have um, this one, which is black, but it's called um, Black Steel, and it's also supposed to be for blue eyes, and it's, um, yeah, you can see that. It's light interplay technology, so I'm assuming that that um, black, the, the, the shade of black that they use in that mascara is supposed to work with um, blue eyes. But so, anyway, um, I'm not gonna try that one today, I'm gonna try this one today, because I've been toying with the idea of getting a blue mascara anyway, and sometimes I think black is really a bit too dramatic for daytime, so brown might be a better option, I don't know. Um, I'll probably just go back to my long comb, but um, I really want to give it a try. So here we go. It's a funky little brush. It's got very short bristles, um, I think, and okay, so I've got to take the gunk off the top. And then put it on. And the other thing I'm going to tell you guys about today is my nails. Because I tried doing my own nails with the OPI that I got from Sephora on Friday. And I'm just hopeless when it comes to doing my own nails. <laughs> I touch them too early, I don't shape them right, I get bored with the cuticle issues, and um, generally bump into my own nails as I'm doing them, so they just turn into a bit of a mess. So yesterday I decided, as I went and got my pedicure at uh, my local nail salon, run by your local friendly Vietnamese, um, that I would get my manicure done and um, as I was sitting there I was looking at their price list and they have a new thing that I'd actually heard about a few months ago when um, someone on Twitter was talking about getting fake nails and I was researching the different kinds of fake nails because mine are always brittle and I always break them. They're not actually brittle, brittle but they're weak and I always break them. And um, 
What do you think? Does that look good? I quite like the texture it's getting on my lashes. It's quite pretty. What do we think? I like that? Hmm, not sure. Not sure what I think. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it on for the rest of the day and see. I, I, I like what it's done to my lashes. I'll tell you that. Um, okay, so the nail story. So um, I, when I was reading up about the different kinds of um, fake nails, um, which I was considering, I ended up um, finding out about this product called Shellac, S-H-E-L-L-A-C. And it's a hybrid between a polish and a gel nail, basically. So um, the way they apply it is they apply a base coat and then you put it under your fingers under UV lights. Then they apply one coat and put your fingers under UV lights and another coat UV lights and top coat UV lights. And it hardens like a gel nail would. Um, so your nail becomes um, as hard as a gel nail. And it's supposed to last for two weeks without chipping, breaking, and you know, obviously that protects your nail as well. And you won't have to do your nail color again for two weeks. To me, this sounds like absolutely miraculous. Um, I went with quite short nails yesterday and I went with a pink sort of natural color. But um, the thing is, it might not be for everybody because if you are really particular about what nail color you use, um, then you might want your regular OPI color. Well, you can't have that because the, the product itself is like a gel nail with color almost, um, although it's not as much gel as a gel nail would be. It's, you have to use the shellac colors because you know, th th that's the product it is. Now, I saw some pretty colors yesterday, but obviously I couldn't use my OPI. But if this works and this lasts for two weeks, uh, it'll last however long it takes your nails to grow so that you see regrowth. Then if that lasts, then um, yeah, <laughs> who cares if I don't get the OPI color because I am hopeless with doing my own nails and hopeless with keeping nail color on. So um, uh, one thing, I, last thing I want to mention today, I'm wearing my um, Malachite earrings by Lizzie Anthus. I'll put a link in the notes. Um, they were made for me special by the girls at Lysianthus Lizzie, in um, Britain, and I absolutely love them. They match my Malachite bracelet that my husband got me in Chile. So yeah, I'm really excited um, to give them a little plug. Okay, um, yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.